Hello, YouTubers. A few people have asked me if I had a video done on how I built the generator enclosure. Well, I actually didn't do a video, but we took a lot of pictures of the process as we were doing it, so that's what this video is going to have to be. It's either this or I won't be able to show you anything. The generator enclosure was built from, I call it, design on the fly. In other words, I went out in the shop, I had a sheet of quarter inch steel plate and a sheet, I think a sheet or two, it was two sheets of uh, one inch steel plate. I had a fan and a few other things that I had picked up and I decided I was going to build a generator enclosure. I needed something that was going to be extremely durable, something that was going to last a lifetime and also a lifetime before it even rusted out. So these are going to be a picture, a, a picture format of each step that I took to build this thing. The hinges on it, I machined on the lathe, they're greasable. It's got the gas shocks to hold the lid up, the front folds down to uh, accept the generator. The generator goes in and automatically locks into the exhaust system. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, there's probably 80 or 90 pictures I had to try to dig up to put this thing together. So let's get to it and hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. At this point the uh, project is moving along quite well but I have to stop the actual fabrication and start to think about where I'm gonna finally install this thing so I'm getting ready now to uh, make up a form and put a uh, pad in so these pictures will show exactly how I did that as well yes sometimes you got to work late into the night to get these jobs done So the next morning everything is looking pretty good so we just have to wait for the uh, ready mix cement truck to show up. And here they are, Dawes Concrete from uh, Mackesons. Really great company, been around a long time, does fantastic work. So now the fabrication is done, it's time to paint. And what I used here was uh, some uh, two-part epoxy primer and uh, epoxy paint actually so it's very durable but it's uh, I painted it out by the door because it's just too much of a mess in the shop so the next few frames will show you how I did that as well I must say I had a bit of a chuckle at the end of it because the next morning when we had it painted it came out to check it and I figured it was going to be full of flies and there wasn't one fly in it and there wasn't any dust in it so I was really pleased about that, to tell you the truth. One of the big issues we had painting that night was the fact it was really hot and the paint was drying almost too quick. But we got it done. When it got dark, Kathy used to have to chase me around with the light so I could see exactly where I was painting. By the time I got it done, I looked more like, like a uh, leprechaun than anything else. I was totally green.
forking sure come in handy for this project because it's quite heavy. Here we are again, working late in the night. I gotta go around with a light in one hand and the spray gun in the next, just to try to get it completed. The next morning, Kathy gets to put her bit of uh, expertise into it with uh, freshly made decals, and this thing is looking really, really good. Really pleased with the outcome of it so far. This is the unique uh, exhaust hookup that I designed for it. Time to lay it in place. It's soon be planted in its new home. You'll notice there's a few trees just around it or bushes. I uh, removed the bushes and I installed a LED street light uh, in its place. And that way, when the power is out, the LED street light will be run by the generator, and it uh, pretty well lights up the whole area right there, so it makes checking on the generator much easier. And uh, it looks very clean. You'll notice the difference uh, at the last few pictures of this video. And here is the custom exhaust again. What I like about this setup is I still have a generator to run the house if I need it, and I also have a generator that I can use on a uh, portable basis. Plus the shelter or the enclosure itself is built with such heavy uh, metal that it's not going to rust out like some of the thinner models that's out there. Excuse the pun, but this is, this is where it really shines. It's all completed at this point. There you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. It took a little while to do it, but I think it was uh, well worth it. I didn't insulate the thing because, to be honest with you, when the generator is in it, uh, we don't hear the generator inside the home. So, And uh, it's, it's really not that loud outside. I did a video on it, but I used a directional microphone when I did the taping of it. And that was a mistake I shouldn't have done because it actually seems louder than it, it really is. But... Uh, this thing is going on three years. They're now in place. It's not rusty. There's no nicks in it. It's out of the way. We've used it probably a total of 30 hours. Yeah, I know it's probably not worth having it there just for 30 hours, but you know what? You know, some people said, why? And I said, well, why not? I'll tell you, the times that we did use it, it was in the middle of the winter. It was quite cold and it ran our furnace. We were able to cook. We had all the lights on in our home. And uh, Kathy was uh, comfortable, and I'm going to tell you something. When Kathy is comfortable, I'm comfortable, and that's what makes it all worthwhile. So I hope you enjoyed this video, folks, and uh, we'll try to come up with something a little bit different later on. We have thousands, literally thousands of projects that we have on, on uh, not video, but in picture form, so uh, photo form. So maybe we'll get at a few later on this winter. So thanks for watching. You guys take care, and uh, God bless.